Hey what's up guys, Harris here, and today I have a quick comparison of the new iPad Air 2 versus the original iPad Air. This will be a speed test, we'll have Geekbench 3, some web browser test, and a boot up test. So the iPad Air 2 of course has the Apple A8X chip, while the iPad Air original has an A7 chip, and the Air 2 has double the RAM with 2GB, and the original Air coming in with 1GB of RAM. So for the first test, we're just going to do a boot up test. Uh, this is something that isn't a huge issue between devices, but I just want to see how each one compares. I did try to do a boot down test, but both screens went black instantly, so I couldn't tell which one finished first. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this briefly, and you can see which one wins. So you can see that the iPad Air 2 did come ahead just a little bit before the iPad Air, uh, just a couple, maybe two to three to four seconds. Not a big deal, uh, but it was a little bit faster there. And now for some Siri tests. What's the temperature in Chicago? It's 57 degrees Fahrenheit right now in Chicago, Illinois. What time is it in Peru? In Lima, Peru, it's 4.25 p.m. What's 4 plus 4? The answer is 8. What's the tallest tower in the United States? Let me have a look. Okay, I found this on the web for what's the tallest tower in the United States. How old is Barack Obama? Barack Obama is 53. So for the Siri test, it was very similar, uh, maybe even the iPad Air original being a tiny bit faster. Now on to Geekbench 3. So I have the results here and you can see that the single core scores are a little bit higher on the iPad Air 2, but the multi-core scores really destroy, coming in close, not too far away from double the score of the iPad Air. Now these are only benchmarks, there are some numbers to throw out there, uh, but you can definitely tell that the A8X chip, difficult to say, is an excellent performer on benchmarks. So finally we're just going to do some web browser tests loading up The Verge and CNET.com. So I'll let you watch this test, uh, but basically the iPad Air and the Air 2 are very similar, and if you're looking to buy the iPad Air 2 for its speed, well, I did notice a little bit quicker in everyday tasks, but as you can see through these tests, it's not really much of a difference, if at all, in some tests the Air beat out the Air 2. So really, it's just up to you. I mean, it's not it's definitely a little bit quicker in everyday actions, uh, but I don't really think it'll be that much faster for general purposes. But anyway, that wraps up this video. It's definitely a close call, but the Air 2 is a little bit faster in everyday uses as I've found so far. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a like, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment for any other iPad Air 2 videos you want me to make, and I'll see you in the next one.